Hello friends and greetings from Iceland. We are going to explore the new lava from a drone. All the lava which spilled not so long time ago on February 8th. It started and lasted only one day. So we are taking off from the Blue Lagoon parking and we will first fly about the Blue Lagoon area and later on uh, towards the new lava and you will see how this lava field looks uh, currently what it's spilled over it's already cooled down this is the blue lagoon road which had been closed as you know we used to drive this road to reach blue lagoon from grindavik road 43 we were turning to the right and we were driving to blue lagoon to blue lagoon it was only 10 minutes drive from kapilovic highway but last time I was driving, it took me 35 more minutes, altogether 40 minutes, to reach uh, Blue Lagoon through Hapnir. So this is how Blue Lagoon looks these days. There are many visitors coming to visit it. And it's open. Though they predict the eruption to happen next week, sometime next days, because magma is reaching similar levels as before, prior to the previous eruptions. Seismic activity in the unrest area north of Grindavik remains minimal. About 20 small earthquakes have been detected on 24-hour basis for the past days. Magma accumulation beneath Svartsangi, that's the area we are flying about, continues and the pace of the accumulation has been quite steady. This is a similar trend as has been observed prior to the previous eruptions. Here you see the hot water pipe, that's uh, where they connected uh, the destroyed pipe with a new one and now it's going above the lava and along of it you find a road that you can drive. I saw trucks driving and you will see a truck driving also in this video so now the pipe is going uh, about the new lava and it's quite a long stretch 500 meters stretch lava spill it quite uh, over quite a uh, quite an area here and the power lines uh, electrical power lines were not damaged because uh, they had been protected the grounding of uh, the holders uh, for power lines had been protected that's where they connected the new pipe there was uh, an extra pipe which was going under the lava but you know it got destroyed from the heat probably you can see it there so this is uh, they made a new road from blue lagoon to this point but ground road, but it stops at the pipe and you can't drive any further. It's probably for the workers, maybe they will make it over the pipe, but I doubt. Uh, today I'm going to drive to Blue Lagoon and I'm going to drive road 43 with tourists. They reopened it, I think yesterday, and now buses and tourist traffic is driving through the new lava. You will see this road, I will show you, and I will also film it today when I'm going to drive. Not this road, uh, another one. We will fly to it in a moment. Now, Icelandic Met Office uh, tells us that um, the event, which started at the end of October 2023 with an infl inflation at Svartsengi, continues. While the magma accumulation persists, another volcanic eruption is expected in similar areas as before. Should magma accumulation continue at the current uh, pace, it was reported today, the amount will reach a threshold, believe it necessary to trigger a dike propagation and even an eruption by next week. By next week, they say. The amount of magma accumulated beneath Swartzengi before previous eruption is estimated to have been between 8 and 13 million cubic meters. Uh, new model calculations are underway to obtain a better understanding of how, how much magma has now been accumulated. They don't know exactly yet. So, now we are 
are reaching this new road which goes over the Lava, as you see. Road 43 is called Grindavik Road. This road I'm going to drive in a few hours, really. And I will film it as I drive through. See, it's still smoking on there. Must be, the surface must be a little bit hot at least. I don't think they will allow to stop there. Just drive through, probably there is a police on every side. It's just one lane traffic. People use this road to go to work to Reykjavik. Those who live it in Grindavik every day, they used to drive it. It was a major line, connection line between Grindavik and Reykjavik, also the airport. I was driving this road to the airport, to the airport in the old days, like to get from Thorlak shop to the airport, you need to drive uh, through Grindavik. I didn't even used to live in Grindavik, I forgot to tell you this, guys. I used to live in Grindavik uh, 16 years ago for uh, for a month or two, something like that. Uh, Icelandic Met Office tells us that at the moment it is not considered necessary to raise the hazard level in the area. Uh, and uh, thus the hazard assessment issued by, the, by Icelandic Met Office remains um, unchanged. Uh, the hazard assessment will be updated Monday 26th of February. Uh, so... The hazard assessment will be updated on Monday, and should the development continue at similar rate as now, the hazard levels in the zones uh, will be uh, raised, a uh, small magma will be accumulated, and thus there is a higher likelihood of the eruption uh, at the moment. Uh, the road access to Grindavik is passing uh, well, also to Blue Lagoon, the new road 43 is passing through the danger zone, through zone 3 uh, and zone 1. Zone 1 is yellow and zone 3 is orange, so I am going to drive through danger zone today, just to pass through. But you see, as uh, Icelandic Met Office predicts and most of experts, the eruption is going to take not on the road or somewhere here where you have the lava, but along this similar fissure line as before, as all previous uh, um, three eruptions. This is how lava flow went over the road, here you see it. Blue Lagoon Road. It, and there was one guy who was using excavator trying to remove it. He was just doing it for fun, but you see he did some clean in there, like it was hot lava on there when he tried to push it. He even posted it on Facebook, on his Facebook. So it looks like cold on the top, but uh, it is hot if you push the rocks uh, with, an, uh, with a bulldozer. I wonder if this road will ever be restored, uh, the Blue Lagoon Road. It's a huge, um, enormous amount of lava that arrived just in one day. When this volcano was erupting, it was emitting 700 cubic meters of lava per second. It's an enormous amount. The previous volcanoes, 2021, when they had been erupting there, they had been emitting like 15 cubic meters per second when being super active here we had 700 so here you see the truck um, driving through the lava by kind of a road it's the road that goes along the hot water pipe so enjoy the footage and be well. God bless you. Greetings from Iceland. We have quite nice weather today, actually. Sunny for February. And I will be in Blue Lagoon today again with tourists, with a group of tourists driving a different road, not this one, but...
the other one 43. <laughs> he was driving very slow for some reason. So enjoy uh, this footage, there are 4 more minutes of flight and be well, all the best, greetings from Iceland.